Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my backyard and welcome back to my series I'm doing on building this big bandsaw mill. I've been away from this project for about three weeks. I was getting ready for and then attending Woodworking in America where I was a presenter this year. That was really fun, but now I'm ready to get back into this thing. And to get started today, I'm gonna to start working on the vertical upright rails here that will guide the saw head up and down. So here are the uprights that are gonna hold this linear bearing rail. This is more of that three by three by quarter wall tube the same stuff that the carriage is made out of. And we have to mount this piece of rail to this tube. So this linear bearing here, the carriage, will mount to the saw head and then guide the saw head up and down throughout its full travel. So these bearings have absolutely no slop in any direction. So that means that these rails have to be aligned perfectly on the right and the left. Now the rails have half inch mounting holes. Actually it's metric, so it's probably 12 millimeter. Um, and then on this side, it has a three-quarter inch counter bore. So what I'm going to do is use my three-eighths inch uh, socket, socket head cap screws, as I've used on pretty much everything so far, and use those to mount the rails. That way, when that's installed, I still have a lot of play in here so that I can adjust these rails to be perfectly parallel and in the same plane. So when James was here a few weeks ago helping me with the build, he cut and fit the uprights to the carriage, and he told me that they only go one way. So, of course, I forgot to label them, so I'm gonna see which one is the right and which one is the left. This one's a little loose. I think they were tighter than this. This might be the other one. Let's see. Okay, this one must be this one. All right, that's this one. So this is left, I guess, as we're facing the sawmill. So this one here is the left side, up, up, okay, perfect. So now I'll lay out the start and stop points of the rail so we can start transferring the whole locations to the uprights. I don't need the rail to run all the way from top to bottom because the saw head can't travel that far because of the diameter of the wheels and the blade on them. So the rail will start 12 inches from the bottom and it'll end about nine inches from the top. And that's just a rough guide. There is a little bit of over travel built into that number. So the total length that I need given the offsets on the uprights, is gonna be around 73 inches. I'm gonna go a little longer than that just in case. I'm gonna go like 76 and an eighth, which would get me to the other side of this mounting hole here. Now you might be wondering, well, why not just use as much of the rail as possible leave enough space on the bottom for the bearing carriage to slip in and just run it all the way to the top. Well, these rails are pretty expensive and I kind of want to use them or have them around in the future in case I want to uh, do something else with them. So the, most, the more length I can keep for a future project, the better in this case. I'm just trying to be as conservative and kind of balance those two things as much as possible. So I have the track centered across the width of this rail. The top and bottom position is not critical. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a half inch drill bit into each of these mounting holes just to create a divot and that'll give me the center point of those holes so I can come back and drill and tap the actual mounting holes. Now since I really don't feel like dragging these things into the shop and setting them up in my drill press, I'm just gonna drill them out here with the hand drill just like I did with the rails and I'm going to leave the linear rail installed so it's easier for me to tell if I'm drilling squarely. Now I can come back with a 5 16th inch drill bit 
which is the size I need for the tap I'm going to use for the bolt to hold this linear rail to the upright. So I was going to mount the uprights in position, pray that I got them all aligned correctly and then attach the carriages to the beam. But I think I'm going to go in a slightly different direction with this. I'm going to mount the carriages to the beam and use the carriages and the beam itself to align the uprights so, so I make sure that they're in the right position. So first I need to make some mounting plates for the carriages. So the carriages have mounting holes that are tapped for M12 bolts and I thought what I could do is just drill out the holes with a half inch bit and then I would have a half inch mounting hole because I'm not going to need the threads. But these are hardened and my bits didn't even touch these so I'm going to do something a little different. So what I'm going to do is use my 3 8 inch socket head cap screws yet again here. I'm going to mark the center point with a bit that is pretty close to the inside diameter of those threads and then with that divot, I can come back and drill and tap for my 3 8 inch socket head cap screws. I'm going to work gradually installing the carriages as I go so I can mark the new hole locations and make sure everything stays aligned.
Okay, so that was easily the most physically challenging thing I've had to do on this entire build. But now I've got these uprights roughly in, in the right spots. So what I'm gonna do now is run the carriage up against the beam, attach the carriages with the, uh, with the mounting plates on them, get those attached to the beam, and I'll use the beam itself to kind of align these two posts so I can make sure that the linear bearings run nice and true up and down on the rails. So I'll have to come up with a better way to install the bearings onto the rails. Installing them vertically like this, I end up losing a bunch of the balls inside the bearing. But there's still enough in there that the bearing doesn't have any slop in it, so it's not a problem for this procedure. But I think in the future when I have the saw beam off, what I'll do is have the saw beam rotated uh, 90 degrees this way so the bearing carriage is up top. I'll slide the rail in, I'll rotate the whole thing back, and then attach the rail to the uh, the upright like I have it now up on some blocks. I think that'll work pretty well but uh, now I have this whole the, the whole beam clamped to my um, my mounting plate on the linear carriage so what I'm going to do is weld this thing in place so that the beam is now attached to the carriages and then I can start moving the beam up and down the uprights to get those two rails perfectly aligned. All right, so this is as far as I got yesterday before it got dark. I was able to run this beam up and down and see it move for the first time, and that was a pretty exciting moment <laughs> in this project. Uh, so I didn't get a chance to start welding the uprights into position, so that's what I'm gonna start on today. What I'm gonna do is tack the bottom of the uprights, run the beam up and down a few times, and then tack the top, run it up and down again, and start welding around the beams, or the, um, the uprights, just to make sure that nothing is shifting as I'm welding. I'm gonna do it pretty gradually, I'm not in a rush here. I don't want these um, uprights to distort at all because that will affect the alignment of those rails. So that's gonna do it for this one. The saw head is installed. There's still a lot of work to do on the saw head. That's where the most, uh, the most stuff goes on is on the saw head. A lot of things happening with the wheels and the guide bearings and the raised lower mechanism, all that stuff. So still a lot of work to do on the saw head, but the foundation is here. And now I can see kind of the actual scale of this thing. This really gives me a really good idea just how big this thing is gonna be. 
So I think next time I have a few smaller things to finish up, I need to add the bracing to the back here uh, between the back upright and this new center upright just to brace the carriage from racking a little bit. I also have a few things to add to the track. Um, I want to get that done so I can get the carriage off of the track before I start mounting the wheels and the motors to the saw beam so I can get the track painted. So I think that's what's going to happen next. So thank you as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments about anything I talked about today or anything here on the sawmill, please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, <laughs> happy woodworking.